Good afternoon from a very sunny East Yorkshire. Um, I'm about to start the series I promised the retro ba battles using the rules from originally written in 1970 by Donald Featherston. What I propose to do in this video is take his basic rules from 1970 and show the examples which I'll, I'll show you in a moment and then move on to playing the rules he upgraded later in the, in the book Lost Tales, again by Donald Featherson. But uh, he, he made the uh, American Civil War rules uh, far more complex. Um, not, not complex in, in the level that we understand complex today, but for the time they were very complex. The initial battles were very, very, very simple. And in fact, if I, I've got this exercise book here, we've got the ranges, movement, well, sorry, movement, firing, what, who can do what. And if I turn the page, what we'll do is we'll get all of it. And that's it. Two, two sides, and it's not even a, a full exercise book. That's the full um, rules that you need for the early battles. Now, Don Featherson used um, a table that was eight foot by five foot. Well, not many of us have access to a table that size. Some, some people are lucky. Um, I certainly do. So I'm going to half that. I'm going to do the battles on a table four foot by two and a half foot, uh, 48 inches. Um, about 30 inches. I shall just change his measurements because of course this was in the days of Imperial um, from inches to uh, centimetres so we'll have no problems there but what he did do in the book was he laid out the battlefield just I don't know whether you can see this hopefully quite well very simple battlefield we've got a, di a road running diagonally across We've got a small wall here and two copses of trees. Coming in at the bottom are the two Federal Infantry Regiments and from the top, two Confederate Infantry Regiments. Now he played this game with 172nd scale Airfix model soldiers. That's what was available at the time, there were other things, but for a cheap army, for anybody who was interested in wargaming, getting into it cheaply, Airfix 172nd was the way to go. You could buy the Union, you could buy the Confederate Infantry, you could buy, you could buy American Civil War cavalry, which you painted up as you wanted, and the artillery again, you painted them up as you wanted. So you got everything you had was there. In game number one, these very basic battles, and he does stipulate all the way through that these are very, very basic rules, and that the gamer will want to move on, expand, and uh, in improve his battles. And so I'm going to go through, as he has done, all the moves, turn by turn. I'm going to use the rolls of dice he threw. I'm not rolling the dice for myself. I'm going to just show the dice that he rolled in his demonstration to demonstrate exactly how the battles went. Some great photographs, black and white photographs. And he did that for three battles. Game number two, well, he's added a cavalry to each side. So now we're increasing the rules now. We've got uh, two, un two uh, units of infantry and a cavalry regiment apiece. And again, I shall follow the same procedure using his rules. And finally, game number three, a little bit more in depth. But we've got only differences, same battlefield all the time. We've now got a unit of artillery for each side. 
and again he goes through all the movement this time with written orders I shall show all that and I shall show it on the tabletop as the units come together have the battle it's very very simple but in his later book Lost Tales he does rewrite his American Civil War rules and uh, makes them far more far more um, what we would accept as, as, a, as, a, as a half decent set of rules so I want to show how, how how um, Don Featherson's rules for the ACW evolved. Now, for his, the, he doesn't do the scenarios, any examples in Lost Tales. He does give you the new rule set, and that exercise book I showed you, um, it will take about, to, to write that all out, it's going to take about 10 or 12 pages. So we've advanced a bit from the two sides to about 12 sides. Now, to fight it, I thought, well, what better than scenarios for all ages? Charles Grant and Stuart Asquith. If you've got Don Featherston, you've got to have these two. The fathers of uh, modern wargaming. And we've got everything in here, lots of uh, scenarios, etc. And the one I've chosen is this one. The very first one in the book, Scenario 1. Attack on a prepared position. We'll go into this more when we get to this battle. But there'll be extra units on here, there'll be more infantry, there'll be artillery and uh, cavalry. The battlefield itself, if I can show you it, remember I'll be scaling it down to four by two and a half, but that's not a problem. We can have that battlefield with a track running through the middle, a ridge line there. One force has to defend, a larger force has to force its way through that defile, that pass. So that's the plan. It will take a, a few sessions to do. We'll cover that up with a bit of paper. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, I'm looking forward to playing it, getting it all laid out. Um, I've got me where are we? There's my battle bag. It's um, it's all oh you can't really see but my battle bag's there, there's my mat in there, everything I need, my trees, my rivers, all in that battle bag. So we can uh, we can get it all out onto the table. It'll be six millimeter, and hopefully it should be fun. And hopefully again you'll enjoy it. So this is just the intro, just to whet your appetite, to let you know what's going to come. And I shall be doing this over the next, I would think, couple of weeks. So I'll speak to you on the very first update. We'll call this intro or part one, and the next one will be part two when we have the table set up. And we start going through uh, what uh, Donald Featherson did in his example play. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye for now.